Car buyers in 75 have some pretty definite ideas about what they want when they walk into an AMC showroom. Take the typical Matador Prospect, for example. They're interested in plenty of family-sized room and comfort with lots of standard convenience features. They want a roomy car that's easy to handle on the road and easy on the budget. Market research indicates that Matador has a loyal following. Better than a third of recent Matador buyers referred to previous experience with AMC as the primary reason behind their purchase. This means current AMC owners are good prospects for Matadors. And it also shows that after the sales service is very important for repeat business. But there's more an AMC salesman should know about Matador buyers. Two other significant influences on their purchase were the exclusive buyer protection plan and the exciting styling of the coupe. But there's more to Matador than just styling. Salesmen have to be prepared for some tough questions about real consumer benefits this year. For example, ride and comfort are important. And Matador has the ride and interior roominess of a full-sized car with the outside dimensions of an intermediate. Other manufacturers make a similar claim, but actual dimensions prove Matador's point. And these days, it's the hard facts that impress consumers. Let's take a look at how Matador compares with other intermediate cars like the Ford Torino, Chevrolet Malibu, and Plymouth Fury. Now, for 75, Matador offers a model lineup which meets the competition head on. The Matador four-door sedan, the coupe, and the wagon. But that's where the similarities end. Take that Matador wagon, for example. It's got more load space than its competition, so buyers can carry large car loads without giving up the benefits of a mid-size car. Matador wagons also provide better gasoline mileage than all other mid-size wagons, according to the EPA. And even though the outside dimensions of Matador are generally smaller than the competition, Matador has the edge in a lot of interior categories. I'm not kidding. That Matador four-door sedan, for example, has the exterior of a mid-size car. But inside, it's more like a full-size car with more front head, shoulder, hip, and leg room than Torino, Chevelle, or Fury. And in the back, it has more leg and hip room than anybody else. That adds up to spacious comfort for up to six adults. Likewise, the Matador Coupe offers the styling, maneuvering, and economy of an intermediate, but still has full-size interior convenience and more front leg, hip, and shoulder room than anything in its class. But roominess is just one of many advantages Matador has over the competition. Matador also has rolled down rear side windows on the coupe to let all that hot air out. Torino Chevelle and Fury all have stationary windows. And visibility is excellent in the Matador because of the large windows all the way around. There are no blind spots caused by large roof panels, like on the competitive cars. To make driving more enjoyable, Matadors feature solid unit body construction for quietness and strength. Only Matador gives you an extra quiet insulation package as standard equipment. When you close the door, unpleasant noise is left outside. And on the doors of the matador, you'll find internal locking levers in the armrests. In this location, they are very convenient to use. 
and also provide better protection from theft than the locking knobs found on the top of the doors in Chevelle, Torino, and Fury. The Matador sedan and wagon also have standard front vent windows for passenger comfort. When they are available on more expensive cars, vent windows are usually an extra cost option. And don't forget other convenience features, like intermittent wipers, which are freely available on Matador. But they must be ordered as part of an expensive package from the competition. They are not even available on Fury. When cargo capacities are compared, the Matador four-door has more trunk space than Torino or Chevelle. The trunk has a low access liftover for easy loading, and it's squarely shaped to provide highly usable space. But Matador's superiority also emerges in a lot of smaller mechanical features that really add up for your customers like a standard front sway bar and the shortest turning radius in the field. This gives excellent maneuverability and handling. The automatic transmission doesn't need service for the normal life of the car. That's not the case with Ford and Chevrolet products. They require either band adjustments or fluid changes or both. To make maintenance easier, the fuse panel of the Matador is located in the glove box instead of a location under the dash, as with the competition. Matador sedan and wagon also provide a standard inside hood release. And the coupe and sedan have a large 24.5 gallon fuel tank, compared with only 22 on the Chevelle. Also standard on Matador are front and rear bumper guards and recoverable energy absorbing bumpers. When you add up all these competitive advantages for your customers and point out all the added touches available on Matador, you have a very convincing presentation for just about anyone. AMC also offers attractive trim packages like the Matador X, Brome, and the exclusive Oleg Cassini package for those with a special appreciation for luxury. And don't forget the AMC Buyer Protection Plan. The competition is talking a lot about warranties, but no one offers the complete protection of AMC's buyer protection plan. Beyond that, there's the double buyer protection plan for a longer warranty than anything offered by any other domestic car maker. It's one more reason Matador can sell itself when it's compared with the competition. With Matador, Owners really do have mid-size economy and handling in a car that offers the comfort and convenience of much larger, more expensive automobiles. The 1975 AMC Matador. There's really nothing that compares. <laughs>